Hello friends, Ajax stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. Using Ajax, we can refresh a part of the web page without reloading the entire page. Ajax sends an HTTP request to the server and in response to the request, the server sends data which we can use to update the web page. In this video, we will use Ajax in PHP to update a web page by developing a simple application. You can see there is a list of users here. We are showing user details along with user status. User status can be active or inactive. And there is a button here. By clicking this button, we can change the user status. So if I click here, activate, it's active now. If I click here, make inactive, it is inactive. So it is updating the user status in the database. So by clicking this button, we are calling an Ajax script. And using Azure script, we are calling a PHP program, which is actually updating the database. And then in response, we are just refreshing this HTML table. This is a very simple application. Let us develop this in PHP and MySQL with Ajax. Let us create the project folder. So I have XAMPP htdocs. Here I will create a folder. So let us give the name of the folder as user. So we'll create all the files in this folder. Let us open this in Visual Studio Code. So this is our project folder. We'll create all the files in this folder for our project. Let us create the table. So I have opened PHP my admin. I'll use the test database. Let us create a table called users. Create. Let us give ID, name, email, and status. So ID is integer, name, varchar, email, varchar, and for status, we'll use enum. So we'll give active and inactive. So A for active, I for inactive, and varchar 255 email so let us create the table table is created let us make this primary key and change it to auto increment so our table is created i'll just insert some sample data in it so i have written some insert statement so i just insert the rows here So the data is also created and our table is ready. Let us go to our project. Here we will create a new file index.php. We will create a HTML file here. Let us give the title. Use Ajax in PHP. And we will use bootstrap 5. So let us get the CDN for bootstrap 5 copy this and paste it here for style we have css style.css so we'll create a folder css and create a new file style.css So we will add our styles here in this file. So we will create a HTML table here. So we will use bootstrap 5 table. Now in our table if we go to a table, we have name, email, and status. So we'll change our column here. Name, email, and status. Here we'll remove, we just keep one row here because we'll be using a loop here. And let us change the table a little bit here. So if we run it now, 
let us run localhost we have created our folder as user so localhost user so you can see the table is displayed let us give some heading and also add some styles let us give a h2 here let us add some style so let us change the let us give some background color we will use a class here table let us change the width okay let us add for the table let us give text align center okay so so far we have not added any php code or we have not used database so this is our static table so let us first connect to database so we'll write a script here let us create a folder and within this folder we'll create our dbconnect.php we'll use new mysql i and we'll use four parameters here server user id password and database name let us define this dollar server is equal to localhost and user id we'll use root user id here this is just for our example only actual project we should not use the root user and for the password we do not have any password for the root user so let us just check the connection we do in case of error we do not want to proceed so we are using die here so our database connectivity is done now we'll select everything from the users table so let us write our sql statement we'll use prepare statement and we don't have to bind any parameters so we'll just execute it and we'll get the result so we have executed select star from users order by name and in the table we'll use a loop to display the users so here let us add the php code first we'll check if there is any rows returned by the sql statement so we'll just first check it if it is greater than 0 if number of rows returned by the sql statement greater than 0 then we'll use a while loop so we are using a while loop here for each row we will be displaying in a table row here so let us here end the loop and in else if there is no row returned by the sql statement then we will use no users found no users found so here we will have to change this dollar row so our first column is name email status so let us give the name here let us just copy it and paste it here this would be our email this would be status 
so we have selected the data from the database executed it and we are displaying the rows in a while loop in an html table so if we just refresh it now it is giving error db name so let us see there is some error if you go to dbconnect.php we have not given the database name so db name will be using test database so let us refresh now so data is displayed now we can see the active and inactive so let us now change this instead of a we will be displaying active and instead of i we will be displaying inactive so go to index.php here instead of displaying a and i we will display active and inactive so let us define a variable dollar status so if dollar row status equal to a so we will use if then else if it is a then we will display active else we will display inactive and here we just display dollar status let us refresh now so you can see it is displaying active and inactive and now we want to change the color for active we want to display green and for inactive we want to display red so let us change that so we will actually use the class here for bootstrap 5 class text danger and text success so let us define the class also here so we will use a variable we will use the same if then else and here we will just give for activities success and for inactive we will give danger and in this let us add the class dollar class so it is text hyphen success or text hyphen danger so let us refresh it so you can see these are green and this is red so now let us add another column action so we'll add another column action here if we refresh it so for action if the status is active we'll add a red button to make it inactive if the status is inactive we'll add a green button to make the user active so let us add the buttons here so if dollar row status equal to active so if it is active so if the user is active we want to make it inactive make inactive else we'll add the button make active or let us give activate so now we'll use make inactive so we'll use the class btn danger and for this we'll use the class btn success let us add the title so if you refresh now you can see the buttons are coming so let us add some styles here to make the buttons look better we'll give a fixed width for the button suppose 100 px and font size we will reduce a little bit so we'll change it now one zero six refresh it so the buttons are coming so if it is active we are showing a red button if it is inactive we are showing green button so now on clicking of this button we'll call a javascript function and in that javascript function we'll write our ajax script to update the user status so you go to index.php here we'll just call a function on click let us give the function name as update status now we need to send the parameter to this function for the user id and the status so for user id we will use the id dollar row id so this is the id of the user 
which we want to update the status for and then since we are making the user inactive so we'll send the parameter status as inactive so let us just copy this and here paste it and just change it to active so we are calling a javascript function with the parameter as id and the status so now let us write the function here javascript function so we'll use the script so this has two parameters id and status now to run the jquery ajax we need a jquery cdn so let us just get the jquery cdn and add it here let us get the minified version copy it and paste it here now here we will use the jquery ajax the dollar dot ajax so for the ajax parameter let us give the type as post we will use post method and then give the url so we need to write a php script so let us give the name as update status and then give the data we need to send the data which is actually the parameter id and status so let us give that now success for success we will write the function and it will have the response once the user is updated we'll get the response so basically when we'll click this it will run the ajax script and then it will call the php script which will update the database and it will change the status but we need to show the updated status so we'll just use the table id here let us see we are using the table so there is a table class so we'll refresh this table so whatever output from the ajax we get we just display in the table so basically we will be refreshing the table and in case of error we will display error here so let us add some div here just to display the error so we have the error message So in case Ajax gives some error, we'll just display this message. So we have to write the PHP code now for update status dot PHP, which will actually get the value for ID and status, and then update the status for the user in the database, and then display the table again with the updated status. So we'll create a new PHP file, update status dot PHP. so first we'll get the parameters id and status it's a post method so we'll use dollar post and this would be the status so we got the parameters so now we'll write the sql statement to update the user in the user table so let us use the sql update users set status equal to give a question mark where id equal to question mark we'll be using prepare statement and then bind the parameters statement equal to now here we need to connect the database first so we'll use that prepare dollar sql so we need to connect that let us connect the database let us use the try catch here try
So, we have prepared the statement. Now, we need to bind the parameters. We have two variable here. One is status and another is id. So, first status dollar status and then dollar id. So, we should use the parameters in the same sequence. They appear in the SQL statement. Now, for the type of the variable, status is string, id is integer. So, we will use s and i string and integer. Let us execute the statement. Now, once we executed the statement successfully, user status is actually updated. So, when the user status is updated, we need to show the user status here. So, basically we need to show the updated status here. So, we need to refresh the table. So, we will use the same SQL statement we used in index.php. So, here let us just copy this update status. Now, let us change this uh, variable name. See here, let us give update for SQL, update SQL and update statement. So, we are again selecting the users and then executing it and then we will be displaying the table. So, we will be using the exactly same code here. So, instead of copying this again, we will just use this in a separate PHP program. So, we will just copy the table and create a new file. Let us give the name as table data.php and paste it here. Save it and here let us remove this and include that table data.php and we will use the same thing in update status also. So, here we need to refresh the table, refresh the table with updated status to show updated status. So, we will just include it here and in case of error, let us just give some error here. In development, you might be displaying the actual error message dollar $e.get message like this, get message. We are not actually displaying the exact error message. We are just showing the error and here let us change a little bit here. We will use the if condition here. If response equal to error, we want to print the error message else we will be displaying the table. So, let us now refresh and see whether it is updating properly. So, the status is active here. Let us make it inactive. Some error occur, please contact admin. So, let us see. So, there is some error here. So, we will print the error message actually here. Echo. And here, we will just display the error message. So, let us see. Syntax error, it is saying error in your SQL syntax. Rest index to near. So, we have some error in our SQL statement. So, let us see. Update user set status equal to. So, now let us refresh it. Click on make inactive. The test.user does not exist. So, we have some error here. So, let us see update users. Refresh it. Click on make inactive. So, it is inactive now, but it is showing list of users here. 
now click on make inactive so it is updating the status so we need to fix this so let us see so here we have use table data so instead of displaying it here let us just cut it and display just above the table so here now refresh it activate so it is updating now so all are active now if you go to database all are active change the first one as inactive see the in the database refresh it inactive make all inactive so all are inactive so our ajax script is working fine now we just want to test in case there is no data in the users table so we just remove this so if you refresh it now no users found so we just need to change a little bit here so we go here table data and here 1 2 3 there are four columns so let us give a column span here so it is fine now and now we will recreate the data refresh it okay now in case there is any error written by the ajax script so in that case we just want to test a little bit here now in case there is any error in ajax script we want to display the error here so we have actually written the script uh, in this case because in production we will just here give some user friendly error message so we will just give error and here if response equal to error we have already given so now if we test it so how will you test it now let us change the status as status 1 now if you run it so it gives some error record please contact admin we'll just give a red color here so we'll add a class go to table data error message add text danger and also text center so we have to refresh it it will give error so we'll have to change this refresh it now we will make the error so we will change it to status 1 some error occurred please contact admin so we are able to show the error also let us change it back to status click on this so now our ajax script is working fine so this way we can use ajax in our php program to update a section of the web page so here we are not entirely refreshing the whole web page but we are just refreshing the table here and it is very fast so our development is complete now you can apply this code for similar requirements where you want to update something on a web page by clicking a button without submitting a form or without reloading the whole page you can visit the website codehowto.com to get the development details. You can download the source code. Please see the video description for all the links. I hope this was useful for you. Please give a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.